Returning to our top story, senior members of the royal family gathering at Balmoral to be with the Queen after her doctors said they were concerned about her health. Buckingham Palace published a statement at lunchtime saying the Queen, who's 96, was comfortable and under medical supervision. Our Scotland editor James Cook is at the gates of the Balmoral estate. There is little drama here, little fuss. Instead, a well-rehearsed plan has swung quietly into action. The police are directing traffic, and every few minutes, another reporter or photographer crosses Isambard Kingdom Brunel's bridge over the River Dee to join the throng, watching and waiting at the entrance of the estate. For much of the afternoon, the rain teemed down, leaving the purple heather sodden. At 5.05 p.m., there was a flash of camera bulbs as a motorcade swept past. Prince William was driving the lead Range Rover, carrying Prince Andrew, Prince Edward and Sophie, the Countess of Wessex. They had come to a place the Queen loved, perhaps more than anywhere else. Many people here on Royal Deeside return that affection. She's a fantastic Queen and just, she's where she loves to be. That's the most important thing, I think, and just hope, hope everything's okay in terms of the family. She's in a place where she's comfortable, a place that she loves. You're all thinking about her. I just hope that she feels true. Give her a whole life duty to our country, even till Tuesday of this week. Still working, so very, very proud of her. In modern times, Balmoral Castle, built in the 1850s for Queen Victoria, has been a constant in the life of the royal family, an enduring symbol of the monarchy in Scotland. Tonight, thoughts and prayers here are with Victoria's great great granddaughter, Elizabeth. James Cook, BBC News. Thank you very much, Chris. That was Chris Aldridge with the 6 o'clock news. BBC News is going to continue here on Radio 4 with Evan Davis and with me, Michelle Hussein, as we continue to follow the reports about the Queen's health. The Queen, as we know, has been under medical supervision at Balmoral, her home in Scotland. That's what we know from earlier statements from Buckingham Palace and her children are all now with her, all four of the Queen's children and also Prince William uh, have travelled to Balmoral to be with her and we know that the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, is on his way. These are the reports that we've been following really throughout the entire course of the afternoon and there have been many good wishes expressed for the Queen, support for her, uh, prayers for her, people's thoughts, political leaders, religious leaders, many people's thoughts and prayers are with her and her family at this time. We uh, knew of the concern of her doctors that was made public by the palace earlier today and that was uh, how all of this developed. Our royal correspondent Johnny Diamond is here in the studio with us. Bring us up to date Johnny. A, 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 a curious day, a day of intensity and yet not an enormous amount of information. Um, instead just signs and signals Michelle of the seriousness of the situation. Uh, first that statement that dropped just after half past 12 today from Buckingham Palace itself. Pretty extraordinary given how jealously the palace guards information about the Queen's health. Then what, 40 minutes later, um, uh, talk in the Commons, a note passed by Nadine Zahawi uh, to the Prime Minister um, and, and suddenly a change of mood within the House of Commons um, uh, and a statement from the Speaker himself to the Commons relatively shortly after that brief statement extending best wishes um, of the House to the Queen and to the Royal Family. Again, a sign that things were not as they were and that this was a very different kind of day. Um, and, and then word coming out from various different parts of the Palace, different sources in the Palace, that um, members of the Royal Family, senior members of the Royal Family, all of them changing their plans so they could move towards Balmoral, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, Prince Charles, um, uh, already in Scotland, quickly getting to Balmoral. Other senior members of the family, um, the um, uh, Prince Edward, Prince Andrew, um, and Prince William flying up from RAF Norfolk in an RAF plane. Johnny, thank you. We have just had news within the last few seconds from Buckingham Palace announcing the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. She was 96 years old. This is so far, the palace has not given any further details, but this is the news that we've had news of enormous significance for the entire country uh, and indeed beyond our borders as well, that the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral. 
this afternoon. Well, that is momentous news, anticipated perhaps through the day as we had that concern this morning. I'll just read that statement. The royal family um, tweeted the statement just one minute ago. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So there we have that news. Johnny, you were just absorbing that. The nation is just uh, absorbing that. Um, just tell us what happened now, Johnny, as we, as we, as we do uh, understand what's just happened. Well, I mean, to be honest, Evan, we are in uncharted territory. Um, the thoughts of many will be, of course, confused, but also will turn to immediate members of the Queen's family. Um, and it is noticeable, of course, from the statement, transition of power has happened immediately. The statement from Buckingham Palace refers to the King and the Queen Consort, who are at Balmoral and will return to London. The focus will gradually shift from Balmoral to London. Um, but right now, of course, we have seen as the process of the day the movement of members of the royal family to Balmoral and, and that is where the attention of the royal family and the attention of the nation will turn. The Queen remains there um, and the members of the royal family are there and, and the thoughts of so many will be Indeed. with them. Yeah. And Johnny, let's be clear, Charles is King from now. That, 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 that handover occurs on the death of the Previously. That happens immediately, um, and from this point on, he is the king, um, and his wife, formerly the Duchess of Cornwall, is the Queen Consort. Yet to be formally announced how he will uh, describe himself, uh, whether or not he will be known as King Charles III, uh, and we'll get that information later. But yes, he is now the king, uh, and um, the weight of that is now on his shoulders as the nation contemplates the change. And flags we see are being lowered at Buckingham Palace. We'll have uh, continuing coverage of this. Of course, we'll have a special programme coming up on BBC News, across BBC News, very shortly as we cover the death of Her Majesty the Queen. This is BBC News. We're interrupting our schedules for the following announcement. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. A statement from the palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC News. Normal programmes have been suspended because of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. A statement issued by Buckingham Palace a few minutes ago said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Thank you, Chris. You're listening to BBC News broadcasting on the UK across all our networks in the UK and around the world following the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. This is Michelle Hussein with Evan Davis here in the studio. 
And if you're just joining us, Buckingham Palace has just announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The palace's statement said that the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort, they said, will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So that's the news that we had just in the last few minutes after several hours of reporting the public statements earlier in the day about the health of the Queen that Buckingham Palace had said that her doctors were concerned and then we knew in the last few hours that members of her family, all four of her children and Prince William, her grandson, the Duke of Cambridge, had all travelled to be with her at Balmoral and that is where they were before this announcement was made. Well, our Royal Correspondent Johnny Diamond has been um, covering this uh, throughout. Balmoral is a place that was special to her, Johnny.